it's Jeffrey with Real Nifty Vintage and I'm with Aaron today and we are at Saver. So we actually just got back from our trip on the cruise and I am, I'm trying so hard to get back in the groove of things, but it's an overcast day and my, my energy level is just very low. I don't know about you. Not, not as high as uh, when it was sunny yesterday. Yeah. Ah, so we're going to go into Savers and see what we can find to buy and resell. Oh, they've got lots of figurines. What is this little owl? Four dollars? It's kind of cute. I'll think about Oh, it's like a covered dish. It opens up. That's really cool. I'm going to have to think about that one. They've got all these figurines spaced out so far. Precious moments. A snake. What is this panther? Oh my gosh, it's like onyx or something. That's so heavy, but the leg has been broken. That's a shame. That's a stinking shame. A cat. Yeah, they do like $4 for pretty much everything. There's a big old chip on the ear too. $4 for the black dog. Hmm. Oh, that's been broken right there too. in the world that's different huh I don't know what do you think okay now we're on the other side of the aisle oh that's pretty wow four dollars oh Walmart ten dollars <laughs> okay okay Oh, you found yourself a dog. Why are you covering his little eyes all? Hi. <laughs> How are you doing? How you doing in there? California. That's kind of fun. It's a California orange ashtray. Three dollars, a little steep, but it's very cute. I'm gonna put it in here just for just for funsies. I might decide to get it with my my funny little owl. Oh, it feels so nice to be back at Savers. I feel like I haven't been here in a year. Everything is so spaced out. I can't keep saying that. I gotta stop saying that. But it's so true. Ooh, a brass apple. Do we want a brass apple? Do you want a brass apple? No. I think I should get that. It's pretty, four, uh, it's $5. Everything's so expensive in my cart. Okay. Hmm, that's different, isn't it? Okay, let's go down the wood aisle real quick because this place is hopping for a Tuesday. Hopping. Um, yeah, I usually don't find anything down the wood aisle, but we're gonna be optimistic. Oh, I like this paper clip. I don't know how old it is, but... Oh, it was at Goodwill at one point for a dollar. Now it's here at Savers for $2. <laughs> that's hilarious. Uh, I'm not sure what that's supposed to be. Yeah, it has a Goodwill sticker on the bottom of it for a dollar. And now it's here for $2. <laughs> oh, their logic is just... I don't know what they're thinking. Ooh, that's cute. It's a tile. Oh. What I need to do what? To go for your uh, new laptop uh, look at Best Buy. It's right by here. Oh, okay. Or near this area. Is this missing something? Is that is that what those things look like? Those two ears. It's got two uh, thing here. That. Okay, so it's a whole animal. Could have had a tail. 
No. I think it's a complete animal. I'm gonna, I might get that. It's a rhinoceros, I think. I had to show this because it's one of my, well, it's not a favorite pattern, but it's by Corel and it's called the Callaway uh, pattern. It's really pretty. Corel Corningware, they put them out. Very nice. Oh, $6.99 for all of it? Well, no, back away, I don't need all that. Um, it's a pretty common pattern. But it's a, it's a nice one because there's little ivy leaves on there. We all know that I collect ivy stuff. I really shouldn't do that. I, I collect Franciscan ivy stuff, but yes. Okay, let's look at the teapots. They've got the fall scrap in the Yorktown. Sort of a popular pattern. Well, it's a prevalent pattern. I don't know if I'll say popular. I see it everywhere. Um, little hearts. <laughs> Something Delight Collection made in Taiwan. I'm not ready to start buying stuff like that yet. I'm gonna be honest, I'm just not. I know that I know like the 80s, 90s stuff's coming around, but I'm not ready for it. Here we have a Corel, hey, it's a butter dish, and the blue onion. Actually, it's called something else. I wish I could remember the name of this. It goes by blue onion, but it's also called Darn it, I don't remember, but for $2, I'm gonna get it. What in the world is that thing called? That's gonna drive me nuts. Hi, I'm back. Okay, it's called Old Town Blue. So that is what this pattern is called, Old Town Blue. Okay, bye. I just found this little tray here. It is $4.99. Look at that. There's like uh, little apples, I guess, with this gold background. It looks like it's in good shape too. It has the caddy and everything for $5. It says on the bottom, made in Taiwan. So um, yeah, that's pretty cool. I'm gonna get that. It's a oil, vinegar, salt, pepper, mustard. This is so cool. There's a whole set of them down here. There's these blue, blue what are they, grapes? And there's these purple grapes. Oh my gosh, those are awesome. Um, I, I'm partial to the blue ones, but I feel like I should probably just get them all. Oh, they're anchor hawking and they're labeled still. Anchor hawking, that's so cool. I'm glad that it says that because I wouldn't have known that they were anchor hawking because there's no stamp on them. $4.49, is that for four of them or for eight of them? Let's see, okay, it's for four. I can do that, I'm gonna get them all. Oh, that's so cool. The card all yeah, those are so cool. And I just saw a Batman thing down there that I wanna look up. Yeah, right here, 549, look at that. I'm gonna put that in the cart, I wanna check it online real quick. It's new, but I wanna see if, it, if they go for anything. I like that it's in a whole box and not opened. Okay, I didn't know anything about this, but this is actually a video game and not the movie, so I'm gonna pass on it. I cannot find one sold or active listing on this anywhere, and um, so I'm gonna pass. If it was like the main movie or something, I might be more, anxious to buy it, but mm, it's probably like a giveaway or something, so I don't really want to deal with it. Let's check the planners. Let's see what we can find over here. Little girl, what's she doing? What is she doing? That's a Relpo. It's a Relpo planter, a little basket. Oh, that's kind of cute. Penguins. It's brass. Oh, you know, that's kind of different, isn't it? It's brass with like this cloisonne style exterior. Huh. I think I should get it. It's kind of different. It's like a burgundy and silver and brass. Very unique. Very different. A UK American boot. I'm not sure what this is about. Somebody peeled this back already. Oh, they peeled the sticker off. I don't know what that sticker is because it's just the bottom part of it hanging out. Darn it. Either way, I'm not really sure what's going on with it. Hmm. Okay. Don't want any clear ones.
This looks like student pottery or something. So they sign their name on the bottom of it. This is like a China thing, it looks like. Yeah. This looks kind of cheaply made too. Yeah. Not any good. Not for me. Okay, well I already looked at the bags off camera and didn't see anything, so. And they've got a ton of bags too. Over there, and all the way over there. But yeah, I didn't see anything. I'll, I'll look again, just, just to be sure. These caught my eye. They're $4, and they're these like little bowl. It's a bowl set. They definitely look like the late 70s or so. Very cool enamel mixing bowls. They seem to be okay, in great shape. They're taped together, so I can't tell, but I think I'm gonna take a chance on them. They're really kind of fun, aren't they? Um, for four dollars, he agrees. Yeah, yeah, I like them. He likes them. So if they don't sell, well, I don't cook, but <laughs> you can cook something with them. I will not. Oh, cherry pie for five dollars. Apple pie for four dollars. German apple kuchen. She's going by with all the goods. I heard her coming like a freight train. Let's go scout it out, see what she has in her little tub. Okay, she just had lots of picture frames and things like that, so I walked right by. But now we are in the seasonal aisle. And, um, looking to see what they have down in this aisle. Yeah, lots of Christmas. And I just got over Christmas. I don't even want to deal with it. I don't even want to look at it. Hmm. Except this guy. He's fun. Well, I'm trying to switch it up a little bit today and buy something I don't think I normally would. This is ceramic. It's one of these molds from 1981. And it's actually a picture, a little black. So I've bought like the figurines and things, but not a, pa well, not a plaque like this before. That's a lighthouse. $3.99. Yeah, take a chance on those. Pretty cool. Oh, I've got Aaron pushing the cart. We're going to the lamps. Check out to see if we have any lamps over here that are good. Wow, not much going on over here. Oh, I wonder if they have any lampshades that we could use. Um, do, do you think any of these lampshades would work with our lamp that we have that we don't have a shade for? Oh, that one's by the TV? Yeah. Uh, I'll let you look at those. See if they got some brass lamps. Nothing too exciting, though. No. Not really into any of these. Wow. Usually this is, like, really full. Oh. Uh, I don't know if I like the color. That's a drum shade. Too modern. Uh, maybe. I don't like how white it is, though. I know, I'm really, like... I guess I wish that this one was in this one, but without the little specks in it. Mm -hmm. Huh. <laughs> may take you a while to find that. If you're looking for a perfect one. This might work, too. Right. Yeah, that's a good one for that. Oh, it is. Well, it's, it's like... It's like stained. I mean, yeah, I, w I wouldn't. They're only two dollars, though. It's not bad. You could just use this. It doesn't look as stained. No, I don't like that style. I'm not, I've never really been a fan of that style, or this, honestly. I could bear this one though. It's kind of geometric looking for three dollars. I just think it's too big for the lamp. Probably so. I'd like something in between these two sizes. Darn. Oh, just patience on that. You'll eventually find it. Probably. Maybe. Maybe. Well, I would say that that was pretty successful. Um, I spent about $46 in there and I got quite a lot of stuff. So yeah, that was great. Haven't been to Savers in a while and I really killed it in there. So I'm gonna wrap up this video. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye-bye.